Johnny Pink. As I get close to that, the frogs go scattering everywhere. And so I can't get them. Today I am out with, this is the original. This is my very, very old, the original 100 to 500 EF version. It is adapted to the R7. This started out as a different video. I was going to do a comparison at 100 millimeters between this and the Canon EF. I'm going to have to do that at home with a static subject and I'll put everything on a tripod. This one, I might even have to rent another lens because this one I have to get so far away that uh, minimum focus distance is so great that I can't get too close to my subject like I can with a 100 millimeter because it's a macro lens and you can get right down on top of it within a couple of inches. Regional airport. Ooh. can't find it. There it is. I'm really enjoying this lens. It's not perfect. In fact, um, on high continuous, I have had it lock up on me because of this lens, and this is the only lens that, has, that that has happened to me with the R7 on. I never had it happen on the R5, but you're also talking about a camera that is the body that is twice the price of the R7. Not a big deal, I turn it off and I keep moving and it works just fine. It's really overcast because of the storms again that are out everywhere, which is fantastic. We need rain, we need it. I've shot damselflies from a distance. Um, hoverflies. A couple of the green bees. It's been an absolute blast. I was hanging out here by the water even though there's not that much going on. I'm hoping to shoot some birds going that way. But I've been hanging out here because there's an osprey, two of them, that keep flying overhead. I watched one start to dive down on the river that way, but of course it was way down on that side. Now I'm hanging out here as they were flying by. And now, I don't know, maybe I'll, oh, I see a hummingbird over there too. And I think I'm gonna wander back that way and see what I can see as far as go by the lake and then back to my car around that way, see if there's anything bird-wise. I just, I wanna shoot. Some of it, you know, I've, I've had some people comment that they bought this or they bought that and it wasn't sharp. Well, just always remember, please, there is no perfect camera. There is no perfect lens. There are great photographers, and the more you do something, the better you get at it. The reason I'm out shooting is I might shoot a thousand shots today. Out of those, I'm gonna pick maybe about a hundred that I like. And of those hundred, I'm gonna present to you guys maybe about 30 of them that I think are good. So please don't ever think that everybody goes out with this amazing gear and they get thousands of great shots. Maybe Mark Smith does, I don't. And you know, maybe there are other people too, but I, I don't think so. I think that a great photograph comes from the person that's behind the lens. That's just my opinion. I will stand by that forever. There are a lot of uh, turkey vultures flying out there too. <sighs> my camera settings, I am in auto ISO just like I always am, but I'm really watching it, trying to make sure it doesn't go too, too high just a personal preference. I'm letting it go a little bit more. Uh, my shutter speed right now, uh, well, that varies. You know, I'm, again, I'm watching it, so I'm varying my shutter speed. My aperture, I've been going, the cool thing about this one is I think I go to 4.5 or something like that, but I've been, there's something crawling on the ground over there. 
but right now I'm shooting in an f8 just even though I'm step, standing back and I have a deeper depth of field stepping back I'm increasing my odds and seeing how sh sharp I can get it this is an older lens it wasn't designed for this new stuff I'm having fun anyway and that's what it's about fun <laughs> For the last half hour I've been standing here watching the Osprey here and now at the lake. I think I got it, but you know, really tracking an Osprey in a dive is actually kind of tough. It's not as easy as you might think it is. So with this 400 millimeter on the Canon with the 1.6, I think I'm at uh, what, uh, uh, 640 or 620? I'll do the math later. I'll put it right here. So they're now not here, but I am. I haven't looked at any of these photos, but I've shown them to you. So if you have a, a favorite, let me know which one it is down below, which one you think is a favorite. When I edit, I will put my favorite after this and just for fun as I did on the last video which I'll have linked over here I'm gonna put a couple in the smug mug so you can see them full res and you can see all my settings in there as well it's really bright out here I have my hat behind here that says force perspective again I'm gonna plug that site go check it out um, James I'll be your second cameraman anytime and it's kind of quiet now. So I think, since it is so quiet now, I think I'm going to head out. I'm going to say thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. You guys have a fantastic day. Whatever it is you're going to go do out there. I'm going to go grab myself a soda. Protein bar. And I'm out. I'll see you guys. Thanks a lot, man. You have a fantastic day. Again, this was the Canon R7. The R7 with the original, got to get the thumbnail in there, with the original uh, EF 100 to 400 push pull. Is it the fastest? No, but it works and it works and I'm having a blast with it. We'll see you guys.